guys welcome back to my channel my name is destiny hope owner of destiny hope candles um follow my instagram and my tiktok at destiny hope candles and subscribe uh, to my youtube page like comment and um share our videos save our videos as well as needed if you found it informational if you need any candle if you have any candle making needs go to the links in my description there's some inventory softwares there's just some software in general that have paid plans free plans um and also majority of the links are affiliate links so i do make a small commission off of your purchases no um charge to you of course and also um just like if you dislike as well as um press the little notification bell to know when i post okay so this is going to be a follow-up on um just my my testing video so they did pass testing but i do know that there's a lot more that um that i can do to make those candles better so they passed testing um even with them um uh being able to create a lot of soot because those uh wick that wick series can create a lot of soot so the, the way you come back this is by honestly pr um trimming as regularly as you're supposed to anyway basically burning the candle properly um but i know that there are some customers you know from like i, I even hang around these people who don't trim their wicks and their candles just look like a, a hot mess so but i wanted to burn them and make sure they're still safe regardless of how it looked regardless of that so that's why I, um, in a few of my videos, you see me harsh testing and the, the candle was sooted out, but it still performed nicely. And it also still, um, well, you get the most use and, you know, the, the best performance out of a candle once you trim and burn it in a three, four hour increments. But if you burn it for a long time, you just, you, you waste a lot of, uh, burn time. And also you can like really like, you can damage the jar. So it's not that it's not safe, but I wanted to make sure that it was, um, safe enough for my uh for my customers um to burn or when i if they are people who don't do that so i will uh cater towards that that's one thing i've been uh want to do so i needed something since i already had them and i made sure they were safe and whatnot regardless of how they can make the candle look if but that's up to you if you trim it you have to trim those uh, you have to trim any wicks that you use because all wicks aren't self-trimming and i'm looking into uh more categories of self-trimming wicks and a lot of people don't really know about self-trimming wicks they just usually just trim and tell people to trim but i know that from experience of me using these wicks i know that like these wicks are like i don't know they, they work well they, they burn beautifully if you trim them but it's like and i and i know that even other uh wicks even if you don't trim them they're not that bad but these wicks kind of do sit more than other wicks so I know that I really want to get into the genre and the niche of self-trimming wicks. I really want to get into that niche. And I remember Black Tile Born a while ago. He always talks about, you know, other, you know, every wick as well, because he has like multiple wicks in his candle lines. But I know that he always talks about HTP. And that's honestly how I got introduced to HTP wicks. Um, and also I think I had commented something before on one of his videos and he mentioned HT he recommended me a HTP wick. And when he what what kind of like threw me off and like pushed me back from even thinking about those wicks was because of the fact that like when he was mentioning them it was like htp 105 and it was a bunch of numbers and i got so confused it just i was like okay i'm not even gonna try to deal with that and even though they're not the best um on the market they they are safe and whatnot and they still burn well you just gotta take care of them i know that a lot of people don't and also and also regardless of whether people do this or not not even just catering towards people who don't uh trim the wicks regularly with those jars they're clear and one thing i say like I, I i hang around people who don't trim their wicks who use almost these basically actually these exact same jars from retail so they buy the kind of retail you know right for walmart and stuff like that but they i use the exact same jars as they do um but i label mine as different and um i name mine as different and I also have a lid on mine and a different colored lid at that. And a different material lid because I usually just use the, either the glass tops, the plastic lids, or um, wood lids. But mine's like a, a metal aluminum and it's bronze. So it's completely different from what retailers uh, usually have. But And also, even though they do kind of have the same jar, it's never really the same. Because mine is like, I have the smaller version. I will be having the medium version. And I will be having the tall version. And most stores have the tall version. But they mostly have anchor jars. They never really have Libby jars. They have anchor jars. And the first Libby jar that I've seen that I use was the largest one. I've seen some uh, some uh, family members and friends have that jar. And it was suited out. So um, they don't trim either. So it had a really long black wick. And it was suited out. And that's when I realized when, when, they, when they burn can, they usually get clear jars. 
I can see the soot in them and it's just building up in the jar. It's safe and whatnot because they burn them nearly all day. But it just soot it out. And that was one thing when I switched to these jars, I was like, okay, I don't want that to look like that. I really don't, regardless of whether they're in retail or not, you know, they're going to be. Um, but regardless of whether they were it or not, I have clear jars now. So you can see all of that. With those black jars, you couldn't see that. And it still performed well. But in these, I want to get a better look in the jar once it burns down, regardless of whether you trim it or not. You know, you, you should. So I'm not, I'm not advertising for you not to. And I'm not doing this for you not to have to do that. I'm doing this because I want there to be the least amount of soot as possible in these jars, regardless. And why not because they're clear and because I have seen other candles on the market. I don't know what wick uh, they use, of course, because they're bigger production. Or I don't know what they use anyway. But with these type of jars, since they're clear and stuff like that, and what I've been around, I don't want my jars to look like that. It was one of my concerns that I was like, that I had just realized. So, yeah. So, enough of that. But, uh, so basically, I will be trying the HTP wicks. Um, I just got kind of confirmation and... um a comment back because I did the question and answer on Lone Star because candle sizes really have all those wick types and also with the wax that I use and just wax in general they always recommend LX and if you have swell wax they make they recommend like uh eco or just most people just have eco for um swell wax or CDNs um but yeah so I will be uh testing out LX I was going to go for the LX either no not LX but the HTP either 104 or 105 because of the um it's catered towards the diameters for either 3.5 to 4 inches and then the 105 is from 4 inches to 5 4.5 inches um but with that being said once I got that comment back because thank god they use those jars that I have right you know I got it from this different supplier they you they have those jars so I told them what the jar type was, what they what, what they were making what, recommend, and what I wanted to do, which was self trimming. They said HTP, and they will recommend either two HTP seventy threes or one HTP twelve twelve. But get it, this twelve twelve is like three or four sizes down, so it's for like a five to five point five, you know, jar. It's honestly like I think their biggest wick, which was confusing to me because they are uh, they say something about. They usually say a lot about like single pore wax. If you have a single pore wax, you need uh you need to go one or two sizes up. So they recommend me a bigger size for that jar. And I have a single pore wax, but it's it's an extremely soft wax. And also like candle size second is 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 a candle size wax. They were like, you don't that's and that's why they offered because the, the wax I had was new. So they offered like a the lowest wick size they ever had, which was the LX10. They had just added the either LX10 or LX12. They had just added it though. And I remember they said in the description, we added this on because of the new wax we have because since it's so soft and whatnot, you don't need as much heat because it's also paraffin. You don't need as much heat with a paraffin wax anyway. But with that wax, you needed so little heat to where they offered the LX10. So honestly, I may not even try to 12 to like they recommend it. I may just go for the 104, 105 because what I was going to do is purchase a sample pack. I really just want to go ahead and purchase a pack 100 um, just to make it worth my time, honestly. But I know that I will have a lot of wasted product, even though I can sell it on eBay like I've been doing. But it's just like a hassle with eBay because then I have to charge a certain amount. Then they, they take a certain amount. And even though I get shipping back, it's just a lot of stuff. So I don't know. And I don't know how to do it off of taxes, whatever. And speaking about taxes, I've been looking on Fiverr for some CPAs uh, when, when I, because Fiverr does offer better prices. And I found one who honestly, because I look for five-star reviews and I look for a lot of reviews, a hundred plus. So I found one person and they seem really good. Their prices are extremely good too. They also offer bookkeeping and accounting services as well, which is $30. Um, even though they, in the comment, when I asked them, they was like, oh, 12 an hour. But on Fiverr, it said some difference. I don't know. Well, on their Fiverr profile. But yeah, so what kind of turned me off from them was the fact that when I was asking them questions about, because I see a lot of uh, candle makers and people who make handmade goods, they have raw materials. So I, I, I've been seeing like with Member Box Candle Co., I think it was the first time I learned about this and like uh, Tiana Coates, I love their channels. Um, y'all go watch them and subscribe to them if y'all have no, no idea about them because they are some OG candle makers and they are like big in this industry and I, and I love them and they have given a lot of us candle makers hope, inspiration, and just a lot of good information, honestly. That you need to have like estimates of like the goods that you have made, that you have on hand, that you just sell, the estimate of like what you did sell, the estimates of and the measurements 
of like materials that you have left, the estimates of how much that all the inventory costs. So I know that you kind of like need that. So I was asking them questions about that, and um, and they were and they obviously are a good a good uh not accountant, but they are a good tax preparer. So, but they but they recommended me this um <clears throat> cash the the cash basis. I forgot what it's called. I never heard of I've never heard of it because um. But it's basically just uh, I looked it up because I, I was I was confused. But it's just basically being able to write off everything and whatnot, which I was like, I don't want to do that because I have never heard of a candle maker on here doing that. I even looked it up and off and on Crafty Base, in which is the inventory that I will be using in the future once I get bigger and whatnot, because it's pretty pricey and you kind of have to pay for that too. But it has a lot of features. Um, at first. I didn't want to use it, but then I, cause it, like the price and stuff, and I was like, this actually does have a lot of features and a lot of bigger candle makers use this. They get retail shops. So I'm like, I guess I would have to scale up to that. They have a lot more than inventory of those, but it's good for a free version and for smaller businesses. But so I looked it up and one, and their form came up from, uh, from Crafty Bay saying that, yeah, you can do that, but they recommend for some, um, and it can work for small businesses, but if you make handmade goods and stuff like that, then you probably should um, do the uh, cure or whatever it's called. You should do the um, the other and the regular uh, tax prepare away because it's just more accurate and whatnot. And it goes off of like when you actually purchased it. And so, I forgot how they said it, but they just said it's more accurate because you know, you pay for it this time, but, and you actually log it. But with the other one, you don't log it until you get the inventory in, but you pay for it. I don't know. It's something like that, but they said many people will recommend that, but we don't recommend you doing that. So I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see around because I mean, if I could write everything off, that'd be cool. But I just, I, cause I, I straight up said, <laughs> I was like, is that illegal? Because I have never heard anyone do that. Other businesses, yeah, because, you know, as a business owner, when you first get in there, you don't know anything about taxes. So you assume that you can write off everything. But no, you can only write off the materials, honestly, that you sold or something like that. I think, you know, as a tax breaker, I'm just, I'm just, you know, talking out of, you know, out of my thoughts and my opinions. Um, but, you know, as a, as, a, as a first time business owner, you don't know anything about taxes. You just automatically assume that, you know. But and then when I was coming in, I think I was hearing about, OK, you can write off what you sell. Um, but the other stuff that you don't sell, you can't write off, but then I think you can write it off. I, I, I just don't know. That's why I was asking questions, but they recommended me that. And then also what turned me off from them was when, when we having that conversation and I said, okay, I said, when they, when they had recommended me that I said, okay, that's, that's cool. Just not find out about that, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. Can we do it the other way? And then they came back and said, but that makes it difficult. I don't care what makes it difficult. This that's your job to do. I don't I don't care what makes it more difficult or what. Like you are the tax preparer. You should offer both of those anyway. Do you only just offer one thing? Like that makes it difficult. <laughs> that was such I don't know. I just like I just I don't know if it was unprofessional. I don't know what it was. I just did not like the response. And then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna use you. But they honestly are like one of the top rated on there. And they have like the the best the better pricing, but I don't know. I just don't trust that. I don't trust that because most other places I found like I think it's like TurboTax or something. I don't know something. I want somebody to tax this for me because I have no idea what I'm doing, and also I want to be I want to I do want to write off everything because I am just not starting. So it's called startup tax. I think you write off everything because they don't expect you to make much, and even if you do. Is like you still probably aren't selling nearly as much as your inventory cost were to even start the business in the first place, because there's gonna be a lot of first time payments. So I don't know. Like I was saying before, I will be um, testing so that so oh I just thought about that. So um, um check out well watch out for some videos that will be coming to my channel about me sampling these uh, wicks um, and whatnot. So I guess but when I do get the sample pack. If I do get a sample pack instead of going for like the 104, 105, or 12, 12, whatever I choose to do, I think I am going to get a sample pack because it's not like those wicks are going to waste because they're all just samples and they shouldn't go to waste because I'm assuming if I like the series, which I should, 
um if i like that series then i can test them in later jars and later series is down the line so that's cool um but yeah so i will test out some htp wicks in the upcoming videos at some point um i just made a sale on two of my fragrance oils that i wasn't using i think baby powder and i want to say i think downy downy april fresh so i sold those two uh fragrance oil i got a good bit off of that uh and i just it's going to come into my account so i guess there's a reason for me to purchase those so that's good i have to spend out my personal money i can spend it out of that money because this is kind of business money because i sold business materials and then i'm going to put it back into the business so i needed an excuse i needed you know an excuse to be able to purchase things for my business without having a person coming to my personal account i don't know but yeah so watch out for those videos um and yeah and i'm sure when this video is out um my collection will have dropped so i hope you guys are enjoying those candles um and i will be updating um my not my logo but i will be updating my labels at some point because i think i want to change the candle name because i had just changed it already because at first it was coco cashmere it was something like that then i changed the cozy cashmere because i wanted it to be something more of retail like you know a little more playful um so i went with cozy cozy cashmere even though it's kind of like i don't I, I, i'm forgetting the word it's kind of um what well, overrated that's not the exact word i'm looking for but it's something like that um it just kind of like i still don't know the word but like played out to me and then when i looked at cozy cashmere oh like no actually i was looking up i was just on like a, a random wholesale cosmetic site um i was looking at how to make room sprays because i, I want to introduce that at some point uh in my business in, in, in my business so i was looking that up and then when I was looking at the room spray kits, because I didn't really have it was the kits. Um, I seen something that said Cozy Cashmere. And I looked, I said, is that, is that copyright? So then I looked it up. And I don't think it's copyright because there's a lot. that Like, that name is everywhere. So I don't think it's copyright. And also with um, fragrance oils, people typically, and that's something I don't like to do. But, you know, no shame to them. No not to them. If they do it, they do it. But, like, if a fragrance oil is called that, they just call the candle that. Straight up. Like, I try to make mine different. So, like with mine i didn't want and which is why it was so hard to name that strawberry guava candle because i didn't want to name it strawberry guava so i had to try to work around that and try to make something make sense even though it kind of don't make sense it makes sense to me i don't know i try to do something and i came up with something so it might not be the best but i will be looking to them in the future so i may change that cozy cashmere because i do want to have something different i don't want something that everyone has and also i want to make sure it's not copyright either but yeah, so I'm looking into changing my labels just to change the font because I kind of don't like the font on there. But it's a start and I'm glad that it did come out. It came out pretty pretty good and pretty decent for my first, honestly, design for this jar. So I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. And then honestly, I don't have, I only have about 30 labels anyway. So once these jars are going up and I have to buy more jars, I have to buy more labels. So like I bought 36 jars and I have enough wax for 35, 36 jars. And I bought 30 labels from Avery. So, yeah. And I may even try a different label company because I didn't realize until I said it on my YouTube video previously that um I paid like $21. And that was with a discount. I paid $21 for like 30 labels. That wasn't the best price. So, what I'm probably going to do, if I can't find an American supplier, I'm honestly probably just going to look on Alibaba. And then if I'm looking on Alibaba, then I might as well, or AliExpress, because they have them too. I probably should go on AliExpress because they're shipping it. Their shipping is much more reasonable than Alibaba. Alibaba is like pure Chinese wholesalers, while Alibaba is like they're Chinese wholesalers, but they lay the they legit either have free shipping or like very cheap shipping. They don't have that hundred dollars shipping. They legit got eight dollars shipping, four dollars shipping, or it's free. So I don't know. It's like the more American version of Alibaba. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go that route anyway. I was thinking about going that route, but when they have like a MOQ, it's like you have to buy that per label. So I have three designs. So I would have to buy either three hundred or you know, uh one fifty, you know, if it's like fifty per label design. So it's not that bad because I don't have like a lot of designs, but it's still enough so i think i'm probably gonna go to aliexpress first because actually i've been on their site already and found that there are some labels that's why i set them in the first place but yeah so there's gonna be a lot of updates coming there's probably there's gonna be a different labeling video um 
there's going to be of course more making of these candles and then there's going to be testing videos with those three different wig series and why there's going to be some packaging videos you know um because by the, by the time this video comes out it's going to be around december because i scared it but yeah i know around but, but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please like comment and subscribe turn on your post notification bell so you know when i post um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy all the other content that i have on my page and i hope my content is just going up and up i hope that my editing and my um communication and just my content is getting better overall um and even if you know it's not the best we you know we're still working on it and i hope you guys are enjoying these week weekly uploads i've been recording and editing so much and i have scheduled everything out so there's one video per week so a lot of these videos are coming out kind of late because you know I, I you know i didn't want them to be that late i didn't realize that until i started scheduling them like per one one every week so these videos are gonna be uh like december january so and it's november right now so yeah but i hope you guys are enjoying these weekly uploads i've been wanting to do this for so long and i'm so glad i did oh yeah and like um in the previous vlog before when i was thanking god about all the goals that i've reached without even really trying to say like they weren't in mind at the time that i've been you know working but i've just been working so thank god so i was uh, I was telling y'all that I got an email saying that I was eligible for my Amazon business account because I kind of gave up on it the first time I tried because I needed an LLC and an EIN number. But I guess they changed that. I don't know. Maybe I looked over it. But I got an email. I tried it. And then uh, a few days later, I kind of, they said it took like one business day, but they didn't send me anything. So I checked it. They said, oh, you can check your business account. But then it was telling me something different when I got there. They didn't want me to verify it myself even though they were supposed to do it better if I for me so i was like okay well i guess i gave up on that then because i'm like i still i don't have the ein that they're looking for but they said they were gonna verify it for me so why do i have to verify it myself i press this so i said you know what i just clicked off the screen and then like a day or two later i got an email saying that i was verified so i now have a business account y'all are so excited because i get every i get a lot of things at a discounted rate like the design is everything is just different some things aren't you know are available for that like quantity discount but some things are um even though you do gotta get a lot of it some for the case packs you do but y'all there's there's so much stuff on there it's like a whole there's like a whole new world and i'm so excited just thank god like ooh, i'm so excited but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i wasn't any candle making so i'm going to expect the views to be a bit lower um even though like i'm, I'm just i'm just so proud proud of where i am in the first place me being able to reach 100 views and just have all of you who are here who have supported me and, and you know purchased through the links in my description you know just everything thank you guys so much for being on this journey with me and i hope you guys are enjoying these videos and i hope they are just getting better and better and better so yeah i hope you guys have a good amazing day amazing life amazing year um love you guys and i will see you next time